everybody, it's Andrea here from Ontario Pork and today I'm going to be talking about one of the most popular cuts of pork out there which is our back ribs and our side ribs. Just a little bit about the back ribs, they're usually considered meatier, they have a great uh, meat to bone ratio which is fantastic but that means that they're usually a little bit more expensive compared to the side ribs. The side ribs, the benefit is they are said to have a little bit more flavor. This is probably because there's more collagen in them. So then when they're cooked down, that adds a lot of rich, meaty flavor. We're just gonna be working with the back ribs. The reason for this is that when using back ribs and side ribs, you use the same recipe. It's just that you wanna cook the side ribs for half an hour to an hour longer than the back ribs. So today I'm gonna tell you three easy ways to cook off your ribs. First, the slow cooker. Second is barbecue. And third is in the oven. The first and easiest way to cook your back ribs is in a slow cooker. You take a rack, put it in, and you just add, simply add the barbecue sauce. And then we're gonna cook this on low for eight hours. And at the end, you're gonna have super tender ribs. So the next two methods we talked about, which was the barbecue as well as the oven, are similar, so I'm gonna do them together. So we wanna put the racks on a cookie sheet or a shallow baking pan, and you want about half a centimeter of water in the bottom, as well as sliced lemons to give a little bit of flavor. We're going to tin foil the top. This will allow the steam to build up and cook the ribs. So now we're going to get these into the oven or the barbecue, whichever you prefer, at 325 degrees. So we just grabbed the ribs out of the oven now and as you can see they're fully cooked. So the only step left to do is to finish them off and how you finish them is by coating them in some barbecue sauce and we're going to put it back into the oven on broil. This will allow the barbecue sauce to caramelize nicely. So in the oven we're going to put it on a high broil whereas if you're doing it on the barbecue you want to cook it on direct heat and that direct heat will help caramelize the sugars that are in the barbecue sauce. Okay, and once that's done, we're just gonna refoil this pan. And our oven is already on broil. So I'm just gonna toss it in and watch it closely so that we can get our gooey caramelized ribs. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're just adding a few extra layers of sauce. So there you have it, ribs cooked three different ways. I hope you enjoyed being here with me today. For more delicious recipes, visit ontariopork.com slash recipes.